Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Now, today's topic is admittedly on the basic side, but just like how knowing where the brake pedal is on your car is, is kind of important, knowing how to stop your machine exactly when you need it to stop is critical, it's essential. So we've decided to do a tip of the day on that subject today. Here's our four codes. We've got our M0, our M1, our M2, and our M30. Now, all of these codes can be used to stop the machine in, in some way. Now, as a programmer in a job shop environment, I love M0. This is one of my favorite codes. From within our programs, we can use it to leave unavoidable notes for our operators. Now, when an M0 is reached in a program, the control is gonna turn off the spindle and the coolant, and it's gonna stop all motion. The machine just sits there and waits with the green light flashing. Uh, the operator must press cycle start to continue. Now, since we've stopped that operator's program, um, we need to tell them why. We need to leave a, a message, a comment in the program. Now, I usually do this uh, in my program on the line right after the M0. When the program stops at an M0, it highlights the line just following the M0. It's nice for the operator to walk up and see that message already highlighted telling them what to do. Nowadays, we actually use that M0 code with our M130 uh, media player. So we can leave not only comments, but pictures, PDFs, and even videos. Now, if you put an M0 in a program, be sure to restart the spindle and turn the coolant back on if necessary. Now, taking a look at a M01, um, it behaves exactly like an M0, with one exception. It only stops when an M01 is reached in your program if, if we're in op stop mode. So we've got to press the option stop button on our keypad. Now, you could almost erase that label, option stop, rewrite M01, because that's all that key does. Again, when we press option stop, it puts us into option stop mode. Our icon comes up on the screen letting us know that we're in op stop. And then each time an M01 is reached in the program, the control stops. Now, uh, I usually uh, put it in op stop mode whenever I'm doing a setup. And I'll put an M01 at each tool change line in my program. But M0 and M01 block look ahead. So if it is placed before your tool call, it's gonna block look ahead and prevent the machine from pre-staging that tool automatically. So it's good to note that when putting those in my program, I usually put them in after my tool change, not before. Now we've made an entire video on pre-staging tools, so be sure to check that one out. If it's important that the machine stops, then we'll put an M1 in our program and put it in op stop mode. If it's really important that it stops, we'll use an M0 in our program. And if it's really, really, really important that the machine does not run past this tool, then we'll go ahead and go to setting 42 and make sure that M0 after M6 is turned on. Now, sometimes I'll go ahead and load up tool one in the machine and have it running while I walk away and look for my next tool. I'm, I haven't even set up tool two yet. And I cannot have the machine go past tool one in my program. This is when I'll use setting 42 because I know that if I walk away, my machine is going to uh, stop before it runs the next tool in my program. So between an M0, an M1, and setting 42, uh, we know that my machine is gonna stop when needed. We can leave notes for our operators, or I can even walk away for a few minutes and uh, set up a tool while my machine is running, knowing that my machine is gonna stop when it's necessary. Finally, we've got our M2 and our M30. Now, an M2 in your program is just gonna stop the machine, right? It's gonna stop the control right where it's at, but it's not gonna rewind your program back to the beginning. So nowadays, when I see an M2, I just change it to an M30. Uh, usually, everyone just uses an M30 to end their program. The program will stop and then rewind back to the first line of your program, all ready for you to press cycle start and run your next part. Now, I said that with an M30, the control is gonna stop your spindle and your coolant automatically. There's no need to call up an, an M5 or an M9 in your program to turn those things off. Adding the M5 and the M9 is just gonna make your cycle time longer for your parts. Well, I know, I know, this has been a really basic video, but these are the codes that 
operators need to know as well, because as they're running the machine, they need to know why it is stopped. So we have to start here before we can move on to the more complex topics like cutter compensation. We'll be doing some more videos on heavier topics coming up quickly, so be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And now thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.